Interesting facts about famous people. Top 10 Spaghetti Westerns. Arguably the most popular subgenre of the Western genres, the 1960s were their heyday. Directors like Sergio Leone, Sergio Salima, Sergio Corbucci, yeah, I see the link here, and more lit up the screen with this highly stylized and violent take on the genre catapulting stars like Clint Eastwood, Charles Bronson, Lee Van Cleef, and more into the limelight. Not everyone's cup of tea, but certainly they had their fans. Still do. Today, we will take a look at 10 of the best, with some honourable mentions. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Let's get into it. Day of Anger, 1967. Director, Tonino Valeri. A scruffy garbage boy becomes the pupil of a famed gunfighter, and the stage for confrontation is set when the gunman overruns the boy's town through violence and corruption. The theme song is used in Django Unchained, the training montage scene, where Jamie Foxx, Django, is practicing his shooting. Body count, 26. Stars, Lee Van Cleef, Giuliano Gemma, Walter Rila, Krista Linda. Face to Face, 1967. Director, Sergio Salima. A history professor has a chance meeting with an infamous outlaw and eventually assumes leadership of his gang. The only spaghetti western starring Gian Maria Volante, where his voice is not dubbed by Bernie Grant in the English version. Upon release, the film was interpreted by many Italian film critics as a parable on the rise of fascism in Europe. Thomas Milan has expressed that Beauregard Bennett is not one of the best characters he has portrayed, as he believes that he did not have as much material to work with as Volante. Stars Gian Maria Volante, Thomas Milan, William Berger, Jolanda Modio. The Big Gun Down, 1967. Director Sergio Solima, an unofficial lawman and would-be senator, is tasked by a railroad baron with hunting down a knife-wielding Mexican peasant accused of raping and killing a young girl. This is one of Quentin Tarantino's favourite spaghetti westerns. Monica Strebel's debut. Stars Lee Van Cleef, Thomas Milan, Walter Barnes, Neves Navarro. Compañeros, 1970. Director, Sergio Corbucci. A Swedish arms dealer and a Mexican peon team up to rescue the intellectual leader of a revolutionary cause, while taking part in numerous misadventures along the way. At one point, Thomas Milan is seen dragging a coffin out of a graveyard. This is a reference to Sergio Corbucci and Franco Nero's previous collaboration, Django 1966, in which the title character drags a coffin behind him. The Spanish version hid the word matar in the main theme, adding gunshot sounds when the word is said, making it unintelligible. Also, when Franco Nero says the line, vamos a matar compañeros, let's gonna kill partners, the line was dubbed, let's gonna fight partners. Stars Franco Nero, Thomas Milan, Fernando Rey, Iris Bourbon, Django, 1966, director Sergio Corbucci. A dragon coughing gunslinger and a prostitute become embroiled in a bitter feud between a clan of southern racists and a band of Mexican revolutionaries. The graphic violent content of the film led to it being banned in several countries and it was rejected in the UK until 1993. It was not rated in the US. The title Django is a reference to renowned jazz guitarist Django Reinhardt, who had a crippled hand Viewers at the time would have been aware of this illusion. After countless and unofficial sequels, Django Strikes Again, 1987, is the only official sequel produced with Sergio Cabucci's involvement. 
stars Franco Nero, Jose Canellas, Jose Bodalo, Loredano Nasquia. The Great Silence, 1968, director Sergio Corbucci. A mute gunfighter defends a young widow and a group of outlaws against a gang of bounty killers in the winter of 1898, and a grim, tense struggle unfolds. The snow in the town of Snow Hill was created by gallons of shaving cream. Silence's distinctive rapid-fire pistol is the 7.63mm Mauser C96, nicknamed the Brim Handle, for its distinctive wooden grip. The pistol was first produced in 1896, two years before the events of the film. Loco's characterization is partially based on Gorka, the vampire played by Boris Karloff in Black Sabbath, 1963. Stars Jean-Louis Trignicant, Klaus Kinski, Frank Wolf, Vanette McGee. A Fistful of Dollars, 1964. Director Sergio Leone. A wandering gunfighter plays two rival families against each other in a town torn apart with greed, pride and revenge. Clint Eastwood's contract for Rawhide, 1959, prohibited him from making movies in the United States while on breaks from the series. However, the contract did allow him to accept movie assignments in Europe. Sergio Leone warmed to Clint Eastwood very quickly and joked that he had only two expressions, with hat or without hat. Sergio Leone was so enraptured with Ennio Morricone's score that he would frequently let scenes run longer than they should just so the music could play out fully. Stars Clint Eastwood, Gian Maria Volante, Marianne Koch, Wolfgang Luxchi. For a few dollars more, 1965, director Sergio Leone, two bounty hunters with the same intentions team up to track down an escaped Mexican outlaw. Gian Maria Volante performs his lines in English, although he needed a translator to tell him everything word for word as he did not speak the language. Contrary to some sources, his voice is not heard in the English version, in which his lines are dubbed by veteran voice actor Bernie Grant who also voiced Volante in A Fistful of Dollars, 1964, and the Embassy Pictures version of A Bullet for the General, 1967. Clint Eastwood's paycheck had increased from $15,000 for A Fistful of Dollars, 1964, to $50,000 for this movie, and reached $250,000 plus 10% of the gross for The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, 1966. Stars Clint Eastwood, Lee Van Cleef, Gian Maria Volante, Mara Crump. One. Two. Three. Once Upon a Time in the West, 1968. Director Sergio Leone. A mysterious stranger with a harmonica joins forces with a notorious desperado to protect a beautiful widow from a ruthless assassin working for the railroad. Sergio Leone liked to tell the story of a cinema in Paris where the film ran uninterrupted for two years. When he visited this theatre, he was surrounded by fans who wanted his autograph, as well as the projectionist, who was less than enthusiastic. Leone claimed that the projectionist told him, I kill you, the same movie over and over again for two years, and it's so slow. Stars Henry Fonda, Charles Bronson, Claudia Kalanali, Jason Robards. The Good, the Bad and the Ugly, 1966. Director, Sergio Leone. A bounty hunting scam joins two men in an uneasy alliance against a third in a race to find a fortune in gold buried in a remote cemetery. Because writer and director Sergio Leone spoke barely any English and Eli Wallach, Tuco, spoke barely any Italian, the two communicated in French. 
Clint Eastwood wore the same poncho through all three Man With No Name movies, without replacement or cleaning. Stars Clint Eastwood, Eli Wallach, Lee Van Cleef, Aldo Dufre. There are two kinds of spurs, my friend. Those are coming by the door. Those are coming by the window. Honourable Mentions The Hateful Eight, 2015 Director, Quentin Tarantino Django Unchained, 2012 Director, Quentin Tarantino Duck You Sucker, 1971 Director, Sergio Leone They Call Me Trinity, 1970 Director, Enzo Barboni My Name Is Nobody, 1973 Director, Tonino Valeri I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check out my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.